Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about sunray or sunburst appearance. This is very important for your oral pathology exams as well as your oral medicine exams. It will be uh, as your viva question or it may be an uh, two mark questions also. Okay, now let's see what is the sunray and sunburst appearance. It is very simple. Okay, first you need to know where it is formed. This appearance is seen in, okay, this is usually seen in osteosarcoma. It is seen in osteosarcoma, then Ewing's sarcoma. Okay, osteosarcoma, Ewing's sarcoma and also the central hemangioma. You need to remember these three. Okay, this is most commonly seen in these. So you need to remember that this sun day or sunburst appearance is usually seen in these osteosarcoma, Ewing's sarcoma and central hemangioma. Now let's move on to what is this appearance? Okay, what is this sun day or sunburst appearance? That is, this is occurred or this happens due to the periosteal reaction. Okay, this is due to the periosteal reaction okay now let me tell you what is this periosteal reaction okay now whenever this periosteum is irritated by the malignant or benign tumor there will be a periosteal reaction and the infection occurs okay now there are two patterns it may be benign or aggressive now what is periosteum okay Periosteum, it is the membrane, okay, that covers the entire bone except the area that covered by the cartilage and also it produces some bone, okay. This is the periosteum function. Now, what is this periosteal reaction, okay. Let's see what is the periosteal reaction. You need to know that whenever the periosteum is irritated by the malignant or benign tumor, there will be an infection, Okay, now let's see what is the periosteal reaction that is in slow growing in slow growing lesion it has the time to produce new bone. Now periosteum will produce bone that is the function. Now in slow growing lesion for example in benign lesions okay okay in benign lesions it has the time to produce the new bone but in rapid growing lesions such as in aggressive lesions okay. In aggressive lesions, okay, first say in aggressive lesions, it does not, it cannot produce the new bone as fast. That is, it produces an interrupted pattern. That is, it will be like this, okay, like this, somewhat, it is lamellated, okay, lamellated or the onion skin pattern in aggressive lesions because in benign lesions it has the time to produce new bone but in aggressive lesions it does not have the time to produce the new bone so there will be an interrupted pattern that is the lamellated or onion skin pattern now in very aggressive lesions okay like in very aggressive lesions for example very aggressive very aggressive lesions it will be speculated like this how it is it is speculated or it is perpendicular can you see it is perpendicular that is the tiny fibers that connect the periosteum to the bone that is the sharpies fibers it becomes stretched out perpendicular to the bone when these fibers ossify it gives the sundry or sunburst appearance it will become perpendicular first and after ossifications it will be like this that is the sun ray or sunburst appearance it looks like the sun rays okay that's why it is known as the sunburst or sun ray appearance the three things that you need to know is in benign lesion it has the time to produce new bone okay so there will be a new bone formation now in aggressive lesion it does not have the time to produce new bone so there will be a lamellated or the onion skin interrupted pattern now in very aggressive pattern this is the first one and this is the second one and third one very aggressive pattern okay what happens these tiny fibers that connect the periosteum to the bone that is the sharpies fibers it becomes stretched out perpendicular to the bone okay like this it is perpendicular that is the speculator and this 
these fibers okay when ossifies it gives the sunburst or sun ray appearance now let me tell you what is the sun ray or sunburst appearance i hope you could have understood now that is this sun ray or sunburst appearance occurs due to the periosteal reaction when the lesion grows too fast and the periosteum does not have the enough time to lay down a new layer instead sharpies fiber stretched out perpendicular to the bone that results in the sun ray or sunburst appearance okay so you need to write as it occurs due to periosteal reaction okay periosteal reaction when lesion grows too fast lesion grows too fast and periosteum does not have enough time okay does not have the enough time to lay down a new layer okay instead the sharpies fibers sharpies fibers stretch out perpendicular okay stretch out perpendicular to the bone that gives the sun ray or sunburst appearance okay that's about the sun ray or sunburst appearance you need to mention that is usually seen in the osteosarcoma or ewing sarcoma or the central hemangioma and you need to write it is due to the periosteal reaction this is very important then you need to know about what is what happens in the benign lesions aggressive lesions and very aggressive lesions and because of what the sun ray or sunburst appearance this is mainly because the sharpies fibers are stretched out perpendicular to the bone so that it gives the sun ray or sunburst appearance that happens when when there is a periosteal reaction this is very simple that's it so that's it about sun ray or sunburst appearance thank you for watching thank you